Hi, my name is Orlando from Skint Guitars in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. In this video, we're going to prepare the top plate of my electroacoustic build. We are going to attach the rosette and we're going to cut the sound hole. We start with preparing the edges of our top plate. Here I use a router to get them perfectly straight so that they join perfectly. As the two top plates are book matched, I make sure that the wood patterns line up. Next, I bring the thickness of the plates down to 3mm, as otherwise it would be too thick and it would not resonate so well. I use my thicknessing jig and hand router trimmer to do this. For some sanding, lots of sanding. I do use the plane as well to get everything as flat and smooth as possible. To glue the top board, I use a flat floor tile to my work surface and tape the boards together. After checking, they line up. I apply the glue and let it dry overnight. more sanding and grain filling. I'll have to do quite a bit of this because with the gloss finish I'm going for, any imperfection will be very visible. Here I'm rough cutting the bit where the top plate will sit in the neck, as the top plate and neck will have to be perfectly level for the fretboard to be glued on top of it all. Here I've marked where the rosette will go. I'm going to cut the outline with a Stanley knife and then route out the recess. The best way to do this would be to have an attachment to make circles with a router or Dremel, but I haven't got one. The rosette I bought doesn't line up perfectly at the top, but that doesn't matter, as the fretboard will cover that.
I use super glue to glue it in. After that, I have to scrape, plane and sand it all down. I didn't notice this, but the plane left a few gouges in the top plate that had to be sanded away too. The diameter on the sound hole is 9 cm, which I think allows for a full bass sound without sacrificing the treble. The smaller the sound hole, the stronger the bass frequencies. There are plenty of online arguments over the ideal sound hole size. We'll see if this works out. From my limited experience, you want to err on the side of smallness, because you can always open it up, though if you do so, you frequently just lose bass without really gaining any treble in your sound profile. So that's it. Thanks for watching.